I won't ask you about the funeral. We're no stranger to those. I just want to know what happened afterwards. It's easy to say a guy comes back from the army. Goes nuts, right? Seen too much, can't handle it, case closed. But we both know that's bullshit. I just want to know what went down, man. What's your story? You should write a book, My Life as a Massive Dickhead. I might give you a chapter, if you would tell me something. Okay, I'll tell you something. Go fuck yourself. I mean, who's in charge here? <laughs> I'll speak to them. Ryan, I am ex-Delta. We both know the same things. I'm here to help. You need to help me. No, oh, X Delta does pop psychology. You gonna ask me what I dreamt about last night? Sure. What'd you dream about last night, Ryan? Oh, I was doing a speech naked, then all my teeth fell out. What do you think that means? This is a conversation. I'm not a cop. I'm not here to go after your family business. In fact, I don't give a shit about any of that. I know you're not a cop, because you've got CIA written all over you. Delta, really? Come on. You're just a fucking desk jockey. <laughs> is that what you think? Yeah, it is. Intel, analysis, mission reports will only take you so far. But if you want the reality of a tactical situation, you need to be on the ground. We both know that. Ground truth. Exactly. How many made it from your unit selection? Five. Plus you? Including me. They don't always take the best guy, but they always take the right guy. Wow. Was there a cliche test? I failed mine. Dog ate my homework. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Delta Force. You've convinced me. We can talk. Okay. Good. Take care of it. Thanks, Clint. Oh, it's good to have you back. How are you? Terrible. You? Oh, you know. Your dad would have hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would. Mum, it might be a good time to start thinking about yourself. Get out of this. You could go on a cruise, get a caravan. <laughs> caravan? I can't just leave. People counting on me. What about Nick and Michelle? Mum, Nick's 34 years old. I think it'd be all right. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm serious. Maybe you should step away. Dad wouldn't want you worrying about the business. You know what your dad would have wanted? Everyone to get out so he could watch the snooker. <laughs> he was so proud of you. You know that, don't you? I know. God, you look just like him. He wasn't much younger than you when we met. When was that? 1937. He was a lot funnier than you, though. <laughs> What's going on? Anne, stay behind me. Get in! They're all over us! Uh, all right, all right. Ah! Put the weapons down. Now! Oh, fuck. Clint, do as she says. Don't. Move. Listen, love. You don't know who the fuck you're dealing with. Just put the gun... Fuck! Okay, it's clear!
He moved. Anne, do you know I am? <laughs> yeah, of course you do. For those of you that don't, my name is Anthony Sharp. I'm a businessman. And I all good businessmen. I like to seek out new opportunities. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've just buried my husband. Yeah, I know. And it's a terrible thing. But like I said, new opportunities. The thing is, it's very difficult getting you all together. And my offer is for the whole family. Yeah, can we hurry this up, Tone? I've got a date tonight. You open your fucking mouth again! And I'm gonna put a bullet through her face! What is it you want? What do I want? Your operation. All of it. Networks, assets. Oh, come on, I don't need to tell you how this works. You've done it plenty of times yourselves. You just keep on doing what you're doing. Think of it as a merger. Apart from you, you can fuck off back to the army. And I know what you're thinking. You're tempted to push back, but I strongly advise against that. I don't want this to be a hostile takeover. I'm sure you don't. I've got a lot of respect for you, Anne. You're a clever woman. You would do the right thing. All right. Well, I think I've just about done here. This is my brother Keach. He is the absolute best with numbers. And he's going to make sure that this transition runs smoothly. Right. I need ledgers, receipts, contact books, diaries, you name it. I want to know when you last saw your fucking proctologist. Come on, chop chop. Someone clear that up. The Sharp Brothers. They've done well for themselves. I get why they want your family business. I mean, it's the best network in Europe, but... It's an area they have zero expertise in. Do you have a history with Tony? Yeah. We knew him. He had his thing, we had ours. But he's never a problem. So why now? He saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Mm. On the day of your dad's funeral? That guy is a total asshole. We've done worse. You're right. We have. Oh. <laughs> there was one thing we've all been wondering. What's that? How the fuck did you get out of there? <laughs> How many are there? Six. I tell you what, this accountancy lark is hard fucking going. What a prick. I'm gonna do him. Nick. Might try some of this scotch. Celebrate our new union. <laughs> Who's gonna pour it for me? How about one of the Marx brothers? Here. Which one's Groucho? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Did you hear that, Ryan? Our surname's Marx, and we're brothers. So that makes us the Marx brothers. <laughs> Did you just think of that, kid? <laughs> or you, Annie. Go on. Have a little drink with me. <laughs> we could do shots. <laughs> shots? <laughs> Won't be doing any shots with that. Eh? Safety's on. Eh? No, it ain't. <laughs> Marx family in action. Talk about a well-oiled machine. That's some serious gangster shit right there. So, what comes next? What would you have done? I would retrench, talk to my people, make sure I could trust them. Gather resources, head somewhere to plan the counterattack. Somewhere safe. That's some gangster shit of your own there, Carson. I thought we'd never shut up. Right, we need to get out. Fire escape. 